Hi guys, so in the previous video I talked about Cisco Meraki MX64 security appliance. I talked about the cloud-based network management that Cisco Meraki uses and how it is different from the traditional network management. And finally I connected the MX64 to the internet so it can connect to the Meraki cloud. It was showing online on Meraki dashboard and basically was ready to be configured. But what if for some reason it doesn't connect to the Meraki cloud? I mean, I connect it to the internet, but it just doesn't show up online on Meraki dashboard. Luckily, it doesn't happen very often, but it is still possible. So in this video, we're going to go over how we can troubleshoot and fix that very problem. So first of all, the LED status light is going to be a good indicator for me. If it is not on at all, then probably the issue is related to the power. Maybe replacing the power cable or trying a different power outlet can fix the problem. But if it is solid amber, then it means it is powered on, but for some reason not connected to the cloud. One reason that can cause this issue could be related to the IP address of the internet port. By default, the internet port is in the DHCP mode. This actually means that it will receive an IP address automatically from the upstream device. But what if there is no DHCP server for my internet connection and I'm actually supposed to assign a static IP address? Well, in that case, the internet port is not going to have an IP address and therefore the MX will not be able to connect to the cloud until I actually manually assign an IP address to the internet port myself. This is something that can be done in the local status page of the security appliance. Local status page is actually where I can check and monitor the device status and make some local configuration changes. This is not something that I will have to do regularly because the majority of the configuration is done through the dashboard after the device is actually online. The local status page is usually used for the local troubleshooting just to make sure the device is online and the rest, as I said, will be done through the dashboard. In order to access the local status page, I would connect my computer to one of the LAN interfaces of the MX64. Some security appliances have a dedicated management port for that purpose, but the MX64 doesn't have one, so I would connect to one of the LAN interfaces. By default, the MX is actually a DHCP server, so my computer should automatically receive an IP address from the MX. Now I can open a browser and type in either the IP address of the MX, which actually is the computer's default gateway, or one of these, which is gonna take me to its local status page. In the local status page and in the connection tab, I can see some information about the client machine that is connected to the MX and some details about the security appliance itself. I can also run a speed test from my client machine to the security appliance. And finally, I can see the connection status of the MX security appliance, whether it is healthy or maybe there is something wrong. Now in the configure tab as you can see I can change the internet connection settings. For example I can use VLAN tagging if I need to. I can also change the internet connection type from direct to point to point protocol over ethernet. And I can also change the IP assignment from DHCP to static. So if the reason why the MX cannot connect to the cloud is because one of these is not configured, then I can make those changes here and it should fix the problem. Another reason that might cause this issue could be an upstream device such as a firewall which is blocking the MX management traffic. Each Cisco Meraki device needs to be able to successfully communicate with the Cisco Meraki cloud. This communication is done through some specific destination IP addresses and port numbers. So if any upstream device blocks any of these IP addresses or port numbers, it can disrupt the connection between the Meraki device and Meraki cloud. A complete list of the destination IP addresses and port numbers can be found here. Sometimes the dashboard might show that the device is using the backup cloud connection. 
This usually means that the port UDP 7351, which is used to connect to the cloud, is blocked and the Meraki device is actually using HTTP or HTTPS instead. This way the Meraki device will continue to operate normally, however some features such as configuration updates, firmware updates and live tools might take longer to respond. So it is always recommended to make sure the UDP 7351 and the rest of the IP addresses and port numbers we talked about are open. Okay so far I know if I want to change the internet connection type I can do that in the local status page of the security appliance. For example, I want to change it from the DHCP, which is the default behavior, to a static IP address. Also, I need to make sure none of my upstream devices are actually blocking any of those destination IP addresses and port numbers that are necessary for the communication between the Meraki device and Meraki cloud. But sometimes it is possible that there is a problem on the internet side. For example, the modem the ISP or even the cable that I'm using to connect the Meraki device to the internet. And I'm not aware of that problem so I just keep on troubleshooting on the MX side with no luck. In that case I would disconnect the internet cable from the MX and connect it to my laptop instead to see if my laptop is able to connect to the internet or not. If there is no internet on the laptop either then I would know the problem is not the MX and is somewhere on the internet. And if none of that helps, I usually do a factory reset because maybe the device is stuck in a state that just prevents it from connecting to the cloud and doing a factory reset somehow can fix that problem. But something I should keep in mind though is that if I do a factory reset, I will also remove any static IP address that I might have assigned to its internet port. So I should do that again if I need to. Okay, now let's recap what we did. First of all, connecting Cisco Meraki devices to the cloud is usually as easy as connecting them to the internet. However, since the default internet setting is DHCP, depending on my internet setup, I might want to change that to something else. Now I know I can make all those changes in the local status page. I also know that Meraki devices need to successfully communicate with the Meraki cloud. They do that through some destination IP addresses and port numbers, so I need to make sure none of my upstream devices are blocking any of those addresses. Also an easy test to make sure the internet connection is up and running is to disconnect the internet cable from the security appliance and connect it to a laptop and test the internet connection on the computer. And sometimes doing a factory reset can actually help. I just need to keep in mind that it will clear the local configuration saved on the security appliance, including any statically assigned IP address. Hopefully at this time the security appliance is online. But if it is not, then maybe there is a hardware issue or maybe there is something wrong on the Meraki side. So I would contact their support team to have them check that for me. Alright, that was pretty much it. Hope you liked this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And don't forget to hit that like button if you liked this video. And subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.